Hello, humans and This is Lafo, and today we are here for the first ever live recording of the Death Rex Gold version, which is currently mm. limited to Korea. So, yes, I managed to get one, and today what is is we are going to unbox this guy and try to assemble this. Oh, yes. So the let's take a look at the box for the beginning. Normal T Rex. It's it's the, basically the same as the normal Death Rex, but it's gold. It's you. It's black and white, such, such as the every other limited edition Zoid is. As far as I'm aware of, is black and white. So yes, this guy's box is also printed in black and white. That's why it is a limited edition, and because I it says it's the gold version, which means that it. I think this guy's skeleton, exoskeleton, is going to be gold. I haven't seen any unboxed versions of it, so yes, this is going to be the first one. So if you look down here, it's Death Rex. 12 here, let's over here. The box is in Korean, of course, it's not in Japanese, unlike the normal boxes, since this is a gold Korean edition. So, let's see. It's basically the same as the normal one, it's just that it, it's black and white. So, let's try and open this guy. Hello humans and assholes, this is Lapo and today we are here for the in-depth review of the gold version of Death Rex from the Zoid line. So, as you guys can see in the live stream, that was just basically my first impressions of the Zoid and the progress of building it. And now that we're here, well, we have built the Zoid and I have tested it out, made sure that everything worked. So yes, there we here we have it, the complete death wreck. So Alright. Okay, so from what I've seen, uh so basically what I've been playing around with the death wrecks, I realized that his jaws weren't always uh closing down properly. So let me show you guys. Did you guys just hear that clicking sound? It's because uh because the Zoid making the the jaws actually get stuck to the back of its feet. I don't think that's the problem of the Death Gold Rex. I think that's a problem with Death Rexes in general. They just don't seem to be able to handle the uh yeah, there we go. See? Only one of the uh one only the one of the mouth comes out while the other one is stuck. Behind this part. Like the leg prevents it from moving out. So we have to like always do this manually. Which gets really frustrating. Because like it's supposed to do this by itself. It's not supposed to have us like help around with the Zoid. So. Every time the. Uh, like you see the legs. It it keeps getting stuck. So. Let's, let's look at. From my experience of assembling the Death Rex, I think the most annoying part was the f the tail. The tail, the joint was the most uh, frustrating part because for some fucking reason I was unable to do it. But at the end, well, I did it. So, yeah, it's a bit hard and for the arms, you actually don't have to, it doesn't go all the way, uh, you don't actually have to put it on the upper layer. Like you have to, you you're gonna see you don't have to put it on the upper layer, you just have to fit it in the hole, so yeah. So from the Death Rex Gold version, I can't compare it with the original Death Rex because the original Death Rex I haven't even assembled. It's over back there in Lofo's big dino tower. In fact, it's all the way somewhere inside it. Like it's actually mo in the world 
the Death Rex was one of the first dinosaurs to ever join the uh, Lofo's big dino tower of boxes over there. So it, it it's actually one of the most uh, dinos. Uh, one it's one of the dinosaurs that are buried all the way d- deepest inside. And and it, and if I wanted to pull the Death Rex out, I would have to remove every single one of these dinosaur other dinosaur sets, which. It's just some pl- simply not something I can do, and I've o- only unboxed this Zoid because it's like limited edition. I'm the first one to post it on YouTube, so yes, it is my responsibility to unbox it. But for other Zoids, there are plenty of other YouTubers, and since, as you guys can obviously see, uh, space is running out a lot for my room. Uh, all four sides of my room are covered with dinosaurs, so yes, I need to minimize my dinosaur um, unboxings to the closest because I'm not throwing away the box either so yeah the Death Rex box is all the all over there as you guys can see right over there like I haven't thrown away the box because the box is awesome too so all right for the Death Rex because simply because it's gold but the gold is like it it might feel for some people it might feel a bit cheap I can kind of understand it it kind of reminds me of these cheap a dollar uh Random robot cheapish toys that they say sell at the convenience stores, like I guess, but it's gold. So, but I guess uh, for the people who actually know that this is an exclusive, it looks awesome. So, just remind that that the armor looks does look kind of cheap, but that that is to be expected because it's gold, you know. And because of its because it's gold, unlike other Zoids. If you make, if you like, touch it with like me with your with your bare hands, like the fingerprints tend to be vis- visible because it's so shiny. So you all, you either have to wear uh, plastic gloves while wearing this guy to like minimize your fingerprint prints, or you you just always have to cl- keep it clean like me. So just keep it clean, like like you would uh, do to your very new newly painted car. So yep. It does kind of give out a very similar, very new car vibe. So, oh, what we, what do we have here? Looks like Death Rex has found some weapons. All right. So, from what I wanted originally, I kind of wanted to equip this set with the, with the assault boost units, but turns out that kind of didn't work out because the Death Rex is a big dinosaur. There would be no reason for him to go for an assault boost unit because uh, it's already an assault type. So. I thought it would be better to make the T-Rex a sniper, so you guys can see we have all the sniping tools we need, so we're gonna uh, equip this, and we're gonna see how this guy turns out. Okay guys, I have finished the customization for the Death Rex with uh, only one of the Buster Raider units, and yes, we have one Raider Dome left, I, I haven't found any other place to glue this guy onto, so... Yeah, I think this guy is going to be for some other Zoid in the future. So, since, you know, not every Zoid can get every single weapon. So, yeah, this is the basic uh, result of our customization. I made some extra cannons on the back using the robot arms that they give, that they are, which are included in the Buster Radar unit. And I also glued on the also uh, big lasers so that when the dinosaur uh, opens its vents, the guns actually point uh, forwards so that it can uh, so that the guns can shoot out and normally they would be tucked into so that they can aim for pterosaurs or other flying zoids so also on the arms i gave i gave them these big ass cannons because you know t-rex got small arms got to give him big ass cannons to go along with it and also i have have these smaller guns the mini, mini missile launchers, I guess, right next to the rider, so that the rider can defend itself. And over in the back, I think, I think that's my uh, smartest placement. I actually placed the rockets uh, facing backwards. You guys may be wondering why I would place them backwards because uh, they the rockets won't get stuck if uh, if I pointed them forwards. So, and not only not only this, but the rockets actually prevent the jaws from clinging onto the uh, onto the clinging onto the feet. They actually prevent uh, prevent that, so I haven't tested it out yet, but the rockets should actually be able to do their jobs properly, and they should actually be... We will we will no longer have the Death Rex uh, 
having the neck, uh, the jaw clinging problem. So let's turn this guy on and let's see what it can do. All right. Very excited because also before I turn this on, I might have to tell you guys that some of the Zoids do not uh, walk, uh, are unable to walk with the with the guns sticking out. So yes, since th these aren't normally included. Oh god, yep, here we go. Guns already starting to fall off. Okay, but the other gun is all uh, kind of sticking fine. So. Okay, nothing, nothing going on. All right, guns out. Well then, Dominus Rex. Ah, and bites his face off. Yeah. Yes, I really like the cannon placement on it on its back. Uh, that's that's heckin' awesome. All right, so. I think it's just, uh, it, uh, I think the arm just kind of fell off, uh, the arm cannons, and except for that, I think we're doing fine, yes, the cannons are working just as I thought they would, they are actually preventing the jaws from clinging on, so the jaws are, let's see, on the next, um, uh, blast, we will be able to see the jaws, yeah, I actually fixed the problems with extra more guns, yeah. Looks like guns always fix all the problems, so... Yeah! I really I really like how I customized it, I absolutely love it. So, anyways guys, yes, this was my in-depth and customization review for the Death Rex Gold Edition. So, if you have enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, may the Jurassic Spirit be with you. Bye-bye.